Assalamu alaikum. This is uh, Fakhar Ali from Super Technologies Incorporation. And uh, today we will learn about curl and how to install and configure curl on CentOS 7. So, CentOS 7, as I have told you in my previous videos, that uh, CentOS 7 is the flavor of Linux, and I have told you about Linux also. So, in the previous video, uh, you have seen that uh, we uh, stall, we, we learn about installing and configuring uh, Apache, which is an uh, or we can say it is a HTTPD server. Uh, it's a server. So, what's curl? Uh, curl is basically an open source command line tool and library uh, for transferring data with URL syntax. So that's the definition of curl and. It supports uh, these are all the application layer protocols uh, you may be familiar with HTTP and HTTPS and FTP and SMTP channel so these are all the application layer protocols which are supported by curl curl also supports uh, SSL certificates and SSL as we all know that uh, it's a secure socket layer and uh, it's a security standard that creates an encrypted link between um, between uh, you know uh, web browser and web server and browser and in this way uh, data can be uh, data can be uh, transfer between uh, server web server and browser in a more secure way so when security is concerned SSL uh, security standard is followed and I will download the most recent stable version of 7.49.1 of curl and uh, this is an official website for curl so I will go into the download section here I have okay so here I will copy copy link location and paste here but before that I have to switch into the user source directory user slash source that's the source file and then paste this link now use wget command make sure to give the space between the commands and press ng so connect it and all right so uh, downloading is started it's a 8.5 mb file and the internet is working properly in our vmware now the source file is loaded you can check it using this command as you can see curl title file is here and we have to untar it so we will in, I will untar it untar means unzipping as we unzip the files in windows so same like in Linux, we enter the table files. Okay, now next step is to switch into the curl file, curl directory. Sorry, here I am. I can use ls command to see these files and directories. Okay, now. I will configure curl. Make sure to that you must be in the directory for configuring. Now configuring is started. Again, let's take a rest. Uh, and wait until it completes now 
Now curl has successfully now the next step is to compile it. Every software when you when you uh, configured it then you compile it and then install it. And before uh, before uh, compiling any software package, um, you you store its dependencies. So this this is the chain uh, to store any uh, software package on uh, on CentOS or any uh, flavor of Linux. So here we can see that curl uh, is being compiling. Okay, we have to uh, we have to be clear our point uh, why we are doing this task because um, at the end I will restart Ap Apache or we can say HTTP server. So HTTP server is being supported by this curl. As we can see, the uh, curl is supporting our HTTP server, which is our web server, and with 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 more security through through SSL and uh, with these packages. Uh, sorry, with these uh, application protocols and these uh, you you can see them as they are being compiled and getting themselves to be ready to install so um, let's wait here ok now uh, curl has successfully come now it's time to install it which is our final step regarding curl okay so our curl has successfully installed now as per instructions that restart your Apache so what I will do first clear it now system ctl then httpd sorry restart httpd okay as you can see that uh, httpd has successfully restart with curl and I we can see its status what's its status as you can see it's active in a running mode so that's it and congratulations that uh, our call and is successfully installed and configured over Centro 7 so I hope you like it thank you Allah Hafiz